With more lawnmower models on the market than ever before, and so many sizes, styles and features to consider, making the best choice isn't as simple as it once was. And now, electric mowers are making a big splash in the lawn care industry. Not long ago, more motors required too much juice for a cord or batteries to be practical. Not anymore. Modern refinements and innovations allowed corded and battery-powered electric mowers to burst onto the scene with gusto. Gas-burning mowers ignite a mixture of air and fuel compressing it in the cylinder, then igniting it with a spark to create a miniature explosion which is harnessed to power the machine. Electric mower motors, however, feature magnets interacting with electromagnets, energizing metal coils to move rotors and create power. Electric mowers can be powered by batteries or a 120-volt receptacle via extension cord. Motor power? Lawnmower manufacturers can be disingenuous about the real-world power levels of their products. It's not uncommon for electric mowers, for example, to have their max torque specs touted as evidence they match gas-burning models in power output. This is deceptive. Max torque gives an inflated perspective of a mower's true power because it measures engine torque under little or no load. The fact is, horsepower is the only reasonable unit of measure for lawn mowers, which I suspect is why electric lawn mower manufacturers don't share this figure. The real-world horsepower of most electric mowers is half, or less than half, the horsepower of a similarly sized gas-powered machine. It's hard to measure exactly how much runtime you will get from a tank of gas in your average fuel burning mower, because much depends on the speed you run it and the density of the grass you're cutting. It's a safe bet, though, that a tank of gas will last longer than a fully charged battery on any equivalent electric model. Most electric mower manufacturers give a maximum runtime estimate, which for push and self propelled mowers is almost always an hour or less. Riding electric mowers might run two hours, tops, on a single charge. Plug in mowers don't require batteries and will keep running continuously unless there's a power outage. In that case, a generator with sufficient voltage capacity can keep you going. While power and runtime certainly favor gas-powered mowers, noise and environmental considerations support electric. Battery-powered mowers have zero carbon emissions, so running one won't contribute to climate change. Although it's tempting to believe battery-powered mowers will always cost less than gas-burning mowers long-term, this isn't necessarily the case. Although you will almost certainly spend less on electricity charging your batteries or running your corded more than on gas and oil for your fuel burning machine, there's more to the equation. Lithium ion batteries don't last forever and eventually need replacement. They are not cheap, either. If your electric mower comes with a generous warranty, you might be lucky enough to get a replacement battery for free when yours bites the dust. Otherwise, you could be looking at a $200 to $400 expense. Electric mowers are usually simpler to use and maintain than their gas-powered counterparts. They don't need gas, oil changes or new air filters, and you don't have to make sure the carburetor and spark plugs are clean and functional. Battery-powered mowers work best for people with small lots who want to minimize maintenance, noise and carbon emissions. But if noise and exhaust don't bother you, and you just want to mow and be done with it as quickly as possible, you're probably better off going gas-powered. Whether you go with gas or electric, it's important to choose the right model for your needs. If you've got an acre or less to mow, a self-propelled walk-behind mower is probably your best bet. If you've got a larger lawn or simply don't like walking and mowing at the same time, a riding mower will make your life much easier. More detailed considerations like engine power, blade speed, deck width, and other features come down to personal preference and available budget. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.